All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the house with a Pinion Knives Custom that's sway back, and I'm gonna try to do a little bit of maintenance on this fella. As usual, you can like, you can subscribe, you can leave me a comment down below, you can check out fablades.com and at fablades on Instagram. But let's go ahead and see what we can do with this fella right over here. Pretty cool one. It is a custom knife. Uh, made by Enrique Peña. I have the Apache, which I truly love, and it's my favorite. I wish I also had the Barlow, and I love the handle. Uh, not so... I think the, the Barlow would be... The, the Apache, sorry, would be amazing with the Barlow handle. But that's just me. Anyways, here we have the scale coming off, which, by the way, this is kind of like a G10 with copper shards uh, infused i believe anyways that is it uh right over here we tackle the other side right so here you go so that's the other one and this is gonna be the 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 pin which already is there so there you go so we have uh, to, let me see if this can come out easily. There you go, came out. Uh, here we are still in need of a, not a T8 anymore, but a T6, I believe. Keep it pinched. There you go, so T6 coming out number one that's long and t6 number two coming off right there and we are done so here just gently releasing the pressure and everything should come apart uh, yeah these are tiny bearings probably the tiniest bearings i've ever seen uh, on a knife at least and uh, i'll grab a little bit of uh, alcohol swab going on over here it's gonna do a nice cleanup for the blade which is done it's gonna do the inside of the scales and also the outside why not let's do this the pivot and the outside as well here we are g10 backspacer and the other side it's clean as well let's also clean this area where the gunk piles up and let's clean this tiny and i mean tiny bearings all right everything is done let's go backwards guys and uh, let's do this so here we're gonna need this fella right over here actually what i'm gonna do I'm just making I'm just like making a mistake uh, this guy goes like uh, this all right so this is gonna be screwed in from this side into that uh, so that's gonna be this side over here so I'm gonna pinch these two boys together uh, that is going to go the other way like so all right so the blade will be sorry like that and what i'm gonna do because uh, i want uh, i want this side basically to be receiving the blade first like that and this guy can also be because this was here 
So these guys come here. So this goes here and this is right there. So that's right there and right there. Look at this. Done. So this is good. So we can we don't need to access that side anymore. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually screwing back this in place already. All right. And uh, as you do this, just remember to swap that T6, throw it out and grab the T8. Yeah, there you go. So this is in place like so. Eh? Almost tried. Let's see if I can very slowly. There we go. Uh, that's the screw for the scale, which is nicely in place. All right. So we have the scale that's, that's done. The bearing is in. I'm going to do a tiny drop of 10 weight nano oil on the detent ball and on the bearings. The blade goes in place. The stop pin has also to go in place. Otherwise, we have no fun. Then we can approach the second bearing don't forget that a little bit of oil as well and then we're gonna approach the scale which is gonna have to go inside here on the with the with the stop pin just approaching there and here you get your screw going through the back spacer and screwing in onto the other side of the titanium liner and here it is the second screw which goes directly again into the titanium liner on the other side and then it's now time for the scale coming back no more use for the t6 grab a t8 back again screw for the handle is in place like all the way down like so and now last bit of the puzzle we get uh, the pivot screw in place as well release the tension and now we're gonna adjust uh, everything we're gonna do we're gonna check like this it's fine it's fine this probably is gonna need a second uh, actually no wow guys Ooh, check this action on this little fella right over here snappy centered right yeah centered yeah that's very cool guys actually this is the best action on a piña custom i've ever experienced so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching stay tuned